Okay, so all this week we are looking at ways mental health research is saving lives and taking a look at some of the work that's being done at the Center for Addiction and Mental Health. Today, we're focusing on memory loss. I had a chance to talk to Paul Leah last week. He had a stroke more than 10 years ago that damaged a quarter of his brain. Paul now lives with dementia. He talked to us about his journey and how he's doing. Have a look. Paul, it's so, so good to have you with us, and thank you so much for talking to us and being with us. Um, you are very open about your experience living with dementia. You want people to be aware of the symptoms. I'm so curious to know, what is it like for you to live with dementia? I live well, and I live alone in Toronto. And uh, when I was first, when I first had the stroke, uh, I, there, I couldn't do anything. My daughter had to teach me how to live, cooking, laundry, shopping, everything. Wow. And also when uh, I had appointments to go to, uh, every time I walked outside, I would get uh, scared, uh, nothing looked familiar, and my daughter would have to come with me to appointments. In 2016, uh, I decided, because she couldn't uh, be with me all the time, I went to Google Maps and I went to Street View, and I went up and down the, the streets just to get myself familiar with it. Whenever I go to the appointments, uh, I wouldn't panic. And basically, life was hell for uh, six years. I can't imagine how scary that must have been in the very beginning when you're just not quite sure what's happening to your body. But it's so amazing to see that you've kind of gone through this journey now and come out to the different to the other side to a point where you've actually become an advocate for people living with dementia. A lot of people who are living with Alzheimer's dementia, they're embarrassed, uh, they're ashamed because they are forgetful, uh, they get confused, and uh, they, it's, it's like stigma, okay? They, they don't want to, want people to know. And with me, I'm able to talk about it, I want to talk about it, and living with it, uh, I'm a perfect example of what can, what can be. I gave a quote to a newspaper a while ago. It's called, we're not the walking dead. Mm. And uh, I think that sums it up pretty good. And I love that you, you know, you're not only an advocate, I love that you actually represent what you're doing, even in your attire, because the first thing I noticed was your hat. And I didn't realize that it has such a beautiful meaning to it. Can you tell me really quickly about it? The hat, the hat band, uh, represents uh, a campaign by Alzheimer's Society. Oh, I love uh, it. For anti-stigma. And the hat band is the forget-me-not flower. Oh, my gosh. I love that. That's beautiful. Paul, thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you very much, and you be safe. Isn't he so inspiring? Okay, Dr. Etienne Sabel is a senior scientist at the Campbell Family Mental Health Research Institute at CAMH. His work focuses on research that could revolutionize how we diagnose and treat memory loss. He joins us now. Good morning, doctor. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Uh, Dr. Sabel, tell us about the work you and your team are doing when it comes to dementia and memory loss and what you've actually discovered. Yes, and um, I'd just like you to... to go back to Paul's testimony mm -hmm. a second ago, because what is interesting is, you know, what would affect his life most, a cognitive deficit, this problem with, with memory, confusion, difficulty yes. in planning. And, and these are the prevalent across brain disorders, not just dementia. You know, 80% of people with uh, depression suffer from, from cognitive deficit. And, and despite billions of dollars that we spend on on brain disorder, these symptoms are not treated by any pharmaceuticals. So my research group at CAMH focused on the, the biological changes that occur in the brain at the cellular molecular level. And we've actually identified a biological pathway in the brain that is responsible for cognitive deficits in, in depression, aging, and Alzheimer's. We, we did it in patients. This was followed by, by multiple, several years of validation studies mm -hmm. in, in preclinical model. And um, I think the most exciting point is the last one. We've now developed small molecules that reactivate this pathway. Right. They're safe. 
and we show that we can actually, in preclinical model again, we can restore the, the, the health of those brain cells and at the same time alleviate the cognitive deficit that are induced by other chronic stress, aging, or even Alzheimer's disease. That's amazing. Um, it's so you, you've, you've discovered what it is. You've discovered how to, how mm -hmm. to sort of uh, come at a certain point. But we know that there's actually no cure, actual cure for dementia or other neurodegenerate diseases. How hopeful are you that one day that we will actually have a cure, that we, you can hand something over to a patient who suffers from dementia and they will be cured from it? Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. There's no cure for now. And, and that has, a, I think what, what we're offering now is hope that mm -hmm. there is uh, help coming down the way. You know, we, we potentially, we're raising funds now to bring this uh, novel molecules to the clinic so that potentially yeah. we could start clinical trial in less than two years. Yeah. And, you know, we may not treat, we may not cure the disease, but we may be able to treat the symptoms, potentially even delay the onset of symptoms in people at a high risk, such as uh, Alzheimer, et cetera. So, yeah. so there's great hope yeah. uh, that we're offering now, even though it's not a cure now, as you said. Dr. Seville, thank you so much. And hope is really our anchor, right? It's all we have. Thank you so much for your time. For more on the work being done at CAMH and their recent campaign, Mental Health Research is Saving Lives Today, head to CAMH.ca. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.